speaking yeah. of all that, um, you know, being a man of your speaking up and all that, not being fear. Yeah. Um, I'm quite sure if you you saw a uh, cat's masterpiece, and I'm gonna call it a masterpiece for different reasons. Because earthquake can't read. <laughs> no. What the <laughs> fuck? I didn't know. I mean, I love earthquake. Earthquake's right, right, one of my favorite right, comedians. Right, so right, I mean, right. I, I but he, I didn't. I was like, what? There was information that I was right. like, is this true? Right, right, right. I don't know. But either way, who boy was that a whirlwind? That okay. was a fucking natural disaster. Could did you or could you enjoy that? Even knowing that he was talking about some of your friends, people you. It know. was fantastic. Okay. It was a it was a beautiful, <laughs> ugly. It was a, be a perfect storm. Right, right. And it, and it, and it, and I think we needed that for the year. We just needed something like that, regardless of whether Cat might be what whether you believe one hundred percent, whether right. you be eighty percent, whether you believe ten percent. Right. Everybody has a different relationship with all those different comedians. Sure. You know, but. Other than that, just out. Let's say I'm just viewing it. It was wonderful, because right, 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 Cat right. is just an interesting dude. Right, period. Right, right, right. He, He's he, not perfect. He probably has a lot of shit people got on him. Sure. But Cat is always ready for the smoke, man. Right, right, right. What he, what he did to Wanda was fantastic. Oh, oh. Not Wanda Sykes. I know, but, but Wanda's fantastic. Oh, Wanda it was Smith. fantastic what he did. But, but here's the but, thing. Cat Williams said, "I don't want to be on this interview. I don't really want right, to. This right, is for right, right. Red Grant." Shoot but it. she goes, please bring, come on. He, uh, she right. came on, and then she fucked with him. Right. And I was like, oh, That's boy. True. That's true. And Cat was like, um, 19 felonies, never been to jail. Uh, this is uh, Versace. I know. He told him. I was like, he, damn, it was, it was yeah. hysterical. Right, but sometimes right. I go back to watch it. Right. And it was, and it was her. And then her husband pulls a gun yeah, on her. All that is so and it's the, but that's not a real comedian. Right. Not to, I'm not knocking the lady, but right. you're not a real comedian. Right. You can't you, if you're gonna bring the fucking smoke. Right. You better learn to take, take that shit and breathe it in. Right. right you know what right, I mean? You right. got to understand. It's like Corey said, you niggas ain't on these comedy streets. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. You're not on these comedy streets. If you want to go toe to toe with me, I'm gonna fucking blaze your ass. Yeah. I'm ready for any of that shit. You know what I mean? You right. got to know we're real comedians, man. Right. Whether famous, whether mid, whether it's just starting. The people that are putting the time, the men and women that are on and out doing shitty shows, doing mm -hmm. bar shows, doing strip shows, mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. fucking Come bumblefuck on, shows, right. three-person shows, hundred times. Those are the people that know what the fuck they're doing. Of course, he has the juice. Let's be honest. He has the juice. Whatever yeah, the juice yeah, is. he is, has the because juice. Because it's funny. Here's the funny. He has, and I'm looking at it from more of a social aspect of it. Yes. Um, you know, when people love you. They love you. No, no doubt. When they no, when they love you, they love they you. They love you. You can't right turn. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I hate to say it, Donald Trump. When his supporters love people, him, but, but you a lot can't of people, do. A lot of us love Donald. Oh, okay, but, but I have a love for him, a love hate for him because okay. he's fucking funny, man. And he sometimes he says shit that you're like, that was right on point though. When he goes fake news, you're right. fake news. Please leave. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're trying to get a fake story. It's right. It's, he's right. Because a lot of these journalists right. twist shit and fuck things up right. and twist the story. Of course he's a dick. Of course he's an asshole. Of course he's. I think he's a lot of danger right. to this society. But he says a lot of... And, and that's the point I'm making. It's so, weird. So when some, when you like somebody, as long as they say enough that you like and yeah. feel truthful, yeah. the, you will let the rest go. Because let's be honest, in the Cat Williams you know, masterpiece, some stuff didn't make sense. But people liked him enough to but say, I don't give a damn. That's what's I like so beautiful him. about that's it. That's what I'm saying. He so you, says some crazy shit. I've read over 3,000 books. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. And I believe he's read a lot. Right. But I've read a lot of books. But, geez, 3,000. Maybe some of them had to do right. with Dr. Seuss. Right. Maybe those counted because those are right. quick books. Right. Maybe he read Cat in a Hat. No, <laughs> Cat in no, a Hat. No, no, right, right, <laughs> Maybe no, he read right. Green Eggs and Ham real quick. Green Eggs and Ham. Sam, right. I am. Right. You know. Right. Maybe he. I don't know. But three thousand books. I was like, he's maybe embellishing a little bit. Of course. But he does have an high IQ. I heard he has an IQ of one sixty. But like I said, we, here's you know? another thing. Because I had Faze on my on my show, yeah. and he talked about things he didn't like, and people in his life that he didn't like, and all in the comments. Hater, 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 hater. But then Cat does the same thing, and it's real as dude, real, real, real. Not knocking it, but I'm just thinking, why, why, is, why does that work like that? Why does somebody I, say know, the same thing? It might type be almost like the LL Cool J versus Kumo D thing okay. at the time. People didn't like Kumo 
because maybe he was a darker skinned man. Right, but right. And, and his you know? went his went to fifty million. Probably he's not fifty million. He's now. breaking the internet. Uh, it's uh, going right, to be a hundred right. million by the time. I think also is. he damn near felt like he was on a stand up special because he was right. up around like that was a stand that was a sit down stand up special. Right, you know what I'm saying? He was killing it with that. Um, and I like the way. He, and I think he's, he's very melodic and, and he talks. And it's he, very melodic. You want to hear what he got to yeah, say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to hear. Bam, 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 right, bam, right. Bam. And he'll bam, stop bam, and look bam, at you. Why what? Would I, why, bam, 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 why would I do that? Bam, 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 bam. Right, right. Da, 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 is that da, like. Da, da, da. Is that's, that, he's like a da, He's like when or, he talks. It's a rhythm to him. Cat Williams basically pulled up a mirror to all of us and himself. I'm sure, because I'm sure the people got some shit on him, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm sure they do. Of course, right, They're right. like, oh, Cat, I know you ain't talking shit, mm -hmm. but I think Cat would actually uh, address it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that he's he's there to address the shit. Right. He's not afraid yeah. to, I think maybe all of us will hold ourselves accountable yep. and speak on an honest, I mean, Cat, Cat went in. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It, it was a perfect storm, imperfect, perfect storm. And even Shannon Sharp was so surprised He's like, yo, cat, man, I, I can't believe this cat. You mean to tell me that uh cat, you I thought all of y'all got along with each other. Right, 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 man, right, man, that's right, crazy, cat. Right, right. I gotta get more of this cognac. Man, I gotta get another fifth of this cognac. Mm. Right. Uh, now I, he's like, cat, come on, cat. Right. Man, fan. And when he said the shit about it, he came out on Ricky Smiley. I've known Ricky for a long time. Mm -hmm. Ricky's always been a great comic, like right. a good dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry about his son. You know, I I actually performed with his son at the um, in Alabama at the Star Dome. Oh wow! Okay. You know, yeah, I met I his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But he called out Ricky Smiley about the whole audition thing. Mm -hmm. The thing that Cat was saying was that on the set, when he got the part, Ricky was saying that, "Oh, that was supposed to be right, my role." Right, right. I think he's kind of pissed off about he that. He was maybe. pissed off about that, and it was awesome. more passive aggressive mm -hmm. behavior. Mm -hmm. It's like you were mad that you didn't get the part because you both were awesome in it mm -hmm. it was very funny mm -hmm. and this is not me you know being div you know divisive with any right. of them but i think that's what cat was trying to explain that you're i'm on set and you're telling people that you were supposed to be have this role that's unprofessional right right right, right. If, yeah, it's true, yeah, if it's true yeah, if it's yeah, right, if right. it's true that was fucked up right. if it's not true then cat was wrong right. and fucked up for right. saying that right, right. but other than that then, then he mentioned also something's kind of weird I could, yeah about joke thieves okay so i on. fucking so, hate right, them right hold on so what's funny was how many people i've met who don't know comedy? Yeah, something's wrong with that. What? You, you the average person, right y'all don't, y'all can't use other jokes and stuff. Like, no, no, no that's intellectual no. property. I eat with this, man. Look, it's look, my material. Look, here's the thing about joke thieves. First of all, I'm gonna tell you straight here. Uh -oh. You joke thieves, fucking, you, you, you're, you're pieces of shit. You're vermin to this, to this uh, art form. You're a tumor. You're a fucking cancer. You understand me? I hate joke thieves. Listen, nothing wrong with. Great minds think alike. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's certain subjects that are easy. Everybody's going to say the same thing. There's not much to get from a certain mm -hmm. subject. I get that. But joke thieving. A lot of people have joked. A lot of famous comics will Robin take. Robin Williams. Well, Robin Williams was no, no. a king of that shit. <laughs> Robin Williams. I've seen Robin Williams do it. I did a sh I did shows with Robin Williams Ooh. in at the Comedy Cellar. You know, and we always, because we have the same birthday. Me, him, George Wallace, John Lovitz, okay. Steve Byrne, July 21st. Um, um and Don Knotts, wow. by the way, Don Knotts. So I um, I remember hosting a show at the Comedy Cellar, and Ray Romano. It was Chris Rock, Ray Romano, Robin Williams, and Robin and Ray Romano had just gone off stage, did his thing, went upstairs. Robin Williams came and did the same joke this motherfucker just did. Wow! Did the same joke, and I was like, Robin had like was it was so in him to steal jokes, right? He couldn't help it, right? And we were like. Ray Romano just did that joke and he just right. did it. It was weird. What would you, what would, how, how would you handle if you did a jam with a joke? And like I said, great minds think alike, and it's pretty much parallel 80% of another comic yeah. when you see him. Would you stop doing your joke? It depends. If they comic? do it way better than me and he they didn't see me do it, right. I'd be like, oh man. I, sometimes I'll like a, the way a person did a joke I did. I go, I like his better. He can have that shit. Okay. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. When Kat said he does material every time, new material every time he comes to a new mm -hmm. city. One, I say, first of all, you should because he's a big name and, you know. You know well, yeah, people know his stuff. Yeah. They, they know, they come, they know yeah, 10,000 yeah. come to see him at yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Um, they pay big money for him. Yeah. How do you, what, what's your process if you come back to another city a year later? 
with the material you had did before? Um, I like to. I think you are entitled to do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> okay. And, all right. and if the audience takes it, right. cool. Because you know what's becoming really cool is we're we're almost becoming like rock stars because people want to hear the classics. What he did. Do you think that it's going to really like change the landscape of how we move and groove in Hollywood and how I, Hollywood I, perceives us? Yeah, I think so. The I believe, fact I that think. he does, he was dropping jewels like, mm -hmm. hey, he goes, I, my, I have a virgin butthole. Mm -hmm. Virgin butthole. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I said, because people will ask, guys like yourself who've been funny than a motherfucker mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. longest time, he's dropping jewels. And they say, how come you haven't, man, you should be over here. Godfrey, man, you so down. There are levels to this shit. Okay. And Kat was like, well, let me break it down on why y certain people can't get to a certain level. Mm -hmm. Because certain motherfuckers are doing certain things, and that's why they're getting to that level. Mm. He says, and he said, I had uh, 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 Harvey Weinstein wanted to suck my dick in right. front of a whole bunch of people. Right. My people I believe Asian. that right. 100%. Because Cat Williams was in those rooms. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams is a, a celebrity, mm -hmm. underground style. Sure, sure. He makes it, he can, he can come into a town and sell out without having to fucking advertise. Right, right. I got to tell people, right. I'm going to be at Uncle <laughs> <Right>. Funnies. <laughs> I'm going to be at the Chuckle <laughs> Hut. Right, please, right, right. please, a hundred right. seat room. Right, right. I got to right. fucking advertise. Right. But, he was in those rooms, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he knows what he's talking about, you know? And I, I, my story of Cat Williams, I met him twice. I was at the uh, Flavor Flav Roast when he hosted. Okay. I was in the audience. I saw it. And one day, Cat took me to a post-Oscar party. I don't even know if Cat remember. He took me. He goes, do you want to go to a party? I was like, yeah. And he took me there, introduced me to Martin Landau, Who's passed now? Right, right, right. He goes, "How you doing, Mr. Landau?" Hey, cat. I'm like, "What?" And I'm right, in, right, he's introducing right. me all these great actors, and then there's jazz music playing. There's jazz music playing the whole time. I'm thinking it's coming through a speaker. Right. It's Jeff Goldblum playing jazz piano. Wow. Oh, Jeff is a, 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 a an accomplished pianist, and he going and I, he goes, "Hello, Mr. Goldblum." He goes, "Hey, what's up, cat? How are you, man?" This is Ooh, this is my my experience with Cat Williams. It was unbelievable, right. and then I never seen him again. Right. Cat took me to a post Oscar party, introduced me to, to 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 legendary actors, and I never saw him again. Cat is sort of like this mythical creature. No, without a, he's like on, a myth, man. Come like, on, like he's dude. literally like a myth. He uh, he's exists, right. but you don't always see him. But a lot of people work with him, like right. Lunell and all right, these other right, people. Right. And and the fact that he gave Melba Moore a star on Hollywood, Come on. who Melba Moore is such a fan of mine, right? Who's a, actually a, a, as a legendary singer, R and B, right. Broadway performer, right. and gets and for Cat to do that, right. and, and, fantastic. And, and I think I've learned fantastic. I've learned in over the years more about him through Linnell on my show. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah. You hear little things about yeah. him, and I think that's why we cheer for him. Yes, you know because what I'm saying? Of the because good deeds he right, does. He, that a lot of comics right. would never, never right. ever do. Right. That's why he ever can, do. That's why he can do what he wants, get you know, get in the roughness with that little 15-year-old boy, but still come out <laughs> shining. You know, they, we don't know who the little boy is, but we still know who Cat Williams is. But the shit fucking. is funny. But the fact that he gets choked out by, by a teenager right. and the fact that he said he can run a 4-2. Uh, oh, right. And, and, and Shannon's like, Shannon, I could run a 4-2. He goes, Shannon's like, I, I got to get more of this cognac. Right, right, right. He's like, you can run a 4 man. Okay. But, okay. But, Club JJ. Club JJ. And that's what I, I'm even surprised at some of the stuff you, like, I didn't know that you were just told me about people who know him like that. Yo. And, and you where, where, that he is, he is he, inside. And people know him. I think he's bringing the inside down. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?